Yo, yeah. <laughs> what up guys and welcome back to another one. We are out here at the old truck stop yet again doing some pigeon trapping. You all have loved the pigeon trapping and that's what we are doing again today. Check it out, we got the spring assist trap buried under all these beans. Here's their little pan that they eat from. It is literally a hair pin trigger right there. And that sucker goes off, she gonna go off. We have not caught one in this trap yet. This is my second day running, that's it. Yesterday was the day we actually caught our first pigeon. I know, yep, give yourself a pat on the back, Bob. Yes, it was not easy to say the least. Not easy at all. But we got it done with this trap right here. This is Jordan's big old hotel trap. It's got an entrance here. So what I did was I salvaged some corn, two corn piles, where a semi truck actually just got done dumping. Right here you can tell the remnants of it. I've been trying to kick it around. Get rid of the remaining corn there. And then right here, it was an extra big pile. As you can tell, been trying to move it around. Get it out of here, get it out of here reason why I'm getting rid of these corn piles for one I have to say that I've spent a lot of time sitting out in my truck watching through the binoculars learning these birds and one thing I've learned is out here away from all that structure if there's little piles of food like that one and that one there it will stop them from getting up to my traps now I have to have the traps back here out of the way kind of in the mud where all the food is but also so they're not out there and they don't get ran over oh we had to get rid of the two piles out here just basically eliminating options that is uh that's the mindset behind trapping is how many options can we eliminate to get them to go right where we need them to go and uh, this is my first trapping experience actually this is the pigeon trapping, I've never trapped beaver, I've never trapped anything else. Pigeon is my first adventure with trapping. But I did have a really good idea. Um, the pigeons love, absolutely love wheat. So I'm waiting for them to dump some wheat out here. Whenever they dump wheat piles, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna throw it in our five gallon bucket. And I'm gonna take it home to the pigeons that we actually trap. Now, I have had an idea. I've really been thinking, you know, um, is it worth it to have feral pigeons in a loft? And the reason why it first crossed my mind was because I got the pigeon home, our blue check, I got him home yesterday. And by the way, thank you all for commenting awesome names for him on the last video. We'll get to that here in one minute. But I've been wondering, you know, is it right to cage feral pigeons and I talked to a couple experts and they're like Bobby you know what they're like a bird is a bird a pigeon they will get used to that that cage they will be fine after a week because he didn't like it when I first put him in there the first you know first hour or two he didn't like it at all which is understandable you know what I mean and then I had a buddy go dude why don't you just band them throw a metal you know clamp band on their leg and set them back free and I'm like oh it's a good idea too so I'm just trying to decide what I'm gonna do with these feral pigeons that we're trapping here because I we are gonna have a full running loft and a lot of people have homers and and pin raised birds as loft birds you kind of it's a there's a thing of, of breeding beautiful beautiful homers that are racing birds whether they're white or or maybe red bars you know something like that get into breeding them so if you guys have any input on those two ideas what I should do if we should if we should just have the loft and it be a feral loft which I think is still pretty cool let me know down below but we got the trap set today we need to catch our pigeon a buddy. We need to get a buddy for him fast. So he's a lot more comfortable. Well, we're back home here, but check it out. I did grab our new pet pigeon, a little bit of beans from the truck stop. Jordan had a great idea and he's like, Bob, instead of going to Orschlands or Tractor Supply or somewhere to go buy bird feed, just take what they're eating from the truck stop. And I'm like, dude, that's a good idea. That's free food for the old pigeons. So that's what we're gonna end up doing from now on. Well, here's our friend here. 
You guys are in the process of naming him right now. As we speak, the, the video's going up of him. This food in here for you. Look like you spilt your water, dude. There you go. There's a bunch of food for you. Probably too much. And let me take that. We're going to get you some new water. Now, as you can see, pigeons are messy. They're very, very, very messy animals. But we are going to have to give his kennel a good cleaning here very soon. Clean that bad boy out real good for him. All right, there you go, dude. He's got some new food, some new water. But above all, what I've noticed at the truck stop, these pigeons absolutely cannot get enough of wheat. Wheat. So, any wheat piles that I find on the ground, as long as they're not soaking wet yet, because we do have to have dry food, I'm going to snag all the wheat that I can, because these pigeons have been loving wheat. But now that we got him fed, we're going to head back over to the truck stop and check the traps and pick him up for the day. Don't know if we have anything. Haven't been over there for about an hour. But boy, howdy, we better hurry up because we have some crazy storms brewing today. Woohoo! The weather is getting bad, boys. Just got a warning on my uh, truck and on my phone. We are in a tornado warning. Warning usually means there's a tornado on the ground. Don't be, don't be throwing out no warnings unless there is a tornado on the ground. I've always thought that it's a watch until it becomes a warning. It would be a miracle if we trapped one today. We still haven't trapped one in the spring trap. That would be awesome if that happened today. We'll find out in about 15 seconds though. Back to back days, that would be, that would be nuts. That would be, uh, that'd be crazy. Here we are. Is that one in there? No. He is definitely not in there. And they didn't even sit off the uh, spring trap. Man. Well, that tells me one thing. Tells me that we need wheat. Like I said, these pigeons are loving the wheat. Check them out here though. Here they all are. Goodness. Just a bunch of them, man. Lots of them. That's a good flock right there, boys. You imagine cracking off into that one? But, but there was no wheat to be had today, so all I had to work with was some corn that I scavenged up from over there. Again, it's not wheat. The wheat, I can guarantee you, they will go in that trap. Here's our spring-loaded trap here. Did not go off. Now you can tell I got it covered. Um, I want to test it just to make sure that uh, it's not held up or something. So here's a decent rock. Oh yeah, it would have went. I was kind of worried if the beans uh, were weighing it down at all and wouldn't allow it, wouldn't allow it to go. But that is not the case. That's good to know though. I'm glad it. I'm glad it broke over with all the beans on it. I think the trick of the trade now is going to be wheat. Got to get some wheat. Uh, I might go buy some if I can't get any in the next day or two here because I can tell you uh, on the last video where we trapped the pigeon, using the wheat is what did it. I know I keep saying the word wheat, 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 but it's true. These pigeons are after that type of grain. They want wheat badly right now. Well, this is uh, the day after the last one. What is this, day two or three now? But we're out here at the truck stop, as you can tell. And this morning, I came out here. I didn't film it. I set the traps. It was probably 9 or 10 in the morning, like usual. And this is what I, what I did. I moved some of the corn from over there, over here. And then I put all the rest of the corn from over there, over here. Again, trying to isolate the food so it's not broadcast everywhere, right? Well, this is what they do here. It's a bunch of, bunch of semis that haul grain. Check it out. Big old pile of corn. Then we got a whole trail here of this mill material. It's some type of maybe bean mill or I don't know, something. Maybe bean mill, corn mill maybe? Another big pile of corn, another pile of corn. Oh yeah, and then this big old gigantor thing of mill. That's a lot. 
that's that's like that's a bunch that's a bunch of stuff on the ground so with this all here guys it just got a lot harder but real quick you guys got to tell me this mill material do pigeons like that stuff well we are back at the house it's actually the next day and y'all have came up with some awesome names for the pigeon we got check him out perched up on his water bowl but before we get to naming him the trapping has became a lot harder uh, the trucking company there they're hauling a lot of different material now so there's gonna be a lot of a lot of feed you know what I mean a lot of feed spread out but I have a really good idea I'm gonna use the same tactic how I trapped our pigeon here I'm gonna go buy some wheat and some good good feed because what's happened, I went and checked today, the trucking company has now moved a lot of semis really, really close to that primary feeding spot. And so those birds are not gonna be comfortable feeding on all that feed that we just seen that was right there. So I'm gonna go about 50 yards back further in the parking lot tomorrow or today I might start it, I don't know. But I'm gonna put out some wheat, some other good yummy stuff that I end up buying and uh, both traps at a different little spot, and I think it's gonna work. But we're gonna have to get them baited with the wheat over into this other spot away from the primary spot because, yeah, I just don't think they're gonna like the primary spot anymore because the trucks are too close. Check this out though, I went and bought one of them fly traps. Oh man, it's full of them already. Yeah, I've only had that thing going for like a week and it's completely full. It's actually done wonders out here in the backyard. But as you can tell, uh, still dealing with a bunch of Fred chewing issues. Oh yeah, check out all this, the old shot chair. Yeah, check it out. He had a heyday on that bad boy. Luckily, I got it at a garage sale. Yeah, you dude, look at him. He's, he's skittish, he's like, man, I don't wanna be in trouble again. Come here. Yep, you'll learn, dude. You're gonna learn. It's gonna take a couple butt whoopings and some stiff talking to, but you will learn. He's still young, guys. He's still young. That's what I have to keep telling myself when he chews something. Oh, but we gotta name the old pigeon here. I asked for your guys' opinions on names, and you guys really, really came through with some hilarious ones. But I gotta say, the one that just hit me was old Clark. We're gonna name the pigeon old Clark. That's right. Right when I seen Clark down in the comment section, I was like, oh yeah, that's it. I'm a Clark Griswold fan. A lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. But we do need to feed old Clark here. Don't get crazy on me, dude. Easy. No, 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 no. He about got out on me. Whoa, dude. Dude, no. That's the first time that's happened. Oh boy, you that, that almost turned out really, really bad, dude. A little bit of advice, don't try to hold a big old camera and feed your pigeon. Yeah, that was a close one, dude. Real close like, okay. But he ended up eating all of his beans that I got him, so I went and bought some more cracked corn here. He's been liking this cracked corn pretty well. Let's see if I can do this without making a big oopsie there you go bud there you go bud i'm sorry i'm sorry all right all done look at him he goes and stands right in the food bowl what are you doing dude you ready you want it you want to play you want to play you want to play go get him he gone he good boy he come on Come on, Frederick. Oh, there he is. Me and Fred are gonna do some playing here. All right, we're gonna do some work. Sit. Good boy, good boy. We're gonna do some work today, huh? Are we gonna do some work? Gotta keep him excited. Gotta keep him happy about training. It's what I've learned the most about him is that as long as I can keep him excited and happy about this, he's good to go. But we have to keep working him as much as possible. If you guys wanna see more Fred videos, drop me a comment down below. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that big old thumbs up for your boy. And if you guys also wanna see more trapping videos, pigeon videos, also let me know down below. But we will see you guys on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. 
I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that 